In this screencast, we're gonna deploy a Ruby on Rails application from a Bitbucket repository to Heroku using the code chip. I've got a simple Ruby on Rails application called Codefish, which contains some RSpec examples. If you want to follow along these setup steps on your computer, just fork the repository. We're gonna deploy this application to Heroku using the code chip. Let's sign in to the code chip with Bitbucket. The code chip needs access to our Bitbucket repositories to be able to set them up. Let's allow access. We're back at the code chip. Now let's create our first project. The first step of our project setup is to select Bitbucket as our repository provider. In the list of my Bitbucket repositories, I search for my repo Codefish Rails and select it. Now our repository is connected and we can set up our test commands. We select Ruby on Rails as our framework. This pre-populates the setup commands and the test commands for us. The code chip suggests Ruby 193, but I want to use the same Ruby version as on my computer. When I type Ruby V in the terminal, I find out that I use Ruby 2.0 patch level 195. So I just copy my Ruby version into the RVMU statement and add a hyphen before the patch version. Let's uncomment the test command bundle exec rspec to run our rspec examples on every build. Now let's finish our setup and go to the dashboard. To start our first build, we need to add a push hook to our Bitbucket repository. Let's copy the hook URL and follow the link to the service hook settings of our repository. We add a post hook, paste the hook URL and save the hook. We can trigger a build for our application by pushing to our repository. Let's add the code chip status image to the readme file. Now let's commit and push this change. This triggered a new build on the code chip. We can access the build details by clicking the arrow on the right. Here we can follow the running builds. By the way, if you ever need help, check out the code chip documentation. If you encounter any problems, contact the CodeShip crew by clicking on the support links in the top right or the bottom right corner. And a few seconds later, our build succeeded. Great! We see all the commands that were run. After a few initial preparation commands, the CodeShip ran the commands that we specified a few moments ago. We can inspect the output of a single command by clicking on it. So we can see the two RSpec examples were run. We've already pushed to our repository, watched our build log and got a green build. So we can finish this assistance. Now let's deploy our application to Heroku. We go to our project settings by clicking on the settings icon in the projects dropdown. And then to the deployment section. We want to deploy to Heroku. Now we need to enter the name of our Heroku application and our API key. Let's go to Heroku and create an application. I name my application Codefish Rails and create it. Back at our deployment configuration, I enter the application name Codefish Rails. To retrieve my Heroku API key, I follow the link to my Heroku account and click Show API key. I copy it and insert it into my deployment configuration at the code chip. Now let's save our deployment configuration. From now on, the code chip will deploy our application to Heroku every time we push to our Bitbucket repository. Now let's push a change and see if it gets deployed. I add a paragraph. I just deployed my Ruby on Rails app with the code chip to the landing page.
I commit and push the change. And immediately another build starts running on the code chip. Let's go back to our project overview. I will fast forward until the build is finished. After the commands we already know from our first build, our application gets deployed to Heroku now. And about two minutes later, our application is online. When we open codefishrails.herokuapp.com now, our deployed application appears. If you need help with setting up your own application, please use the support link in the top right corner or tweet us at codechip.